Hi, so if you follow me on Quora, you would know that I've been very vocal about mental health and my struggles with it. I think it all started way back in India, but at that time, I, did, I wasn't aware. I wasn't aware what the term panic attack means, what anxiety is, you know, they were just like foreign concepts. So I, I said, oh, well, you know, I just have a lot of mood swings. That's what it is. I did not know what I was going through. Then I came to the US. It was a new land, new people. Uh, unfortunately, most of them were not that friendly at the very start. Um, partly because of the fact that I'm an introvert, it's hard to get across to me. Um, so I struggled, I struggled a lot. And with hindsight, I know that my mental stability is rooted in having my family and loved ones close. So coming to US all alone, it just unhinged everything for me. It was really easy for me to fall apart. You wouldn't believe maybe, but for the first one or two months here, um, I always had a browser tab open with flights from Salt Lake City to Delhi because I just didn't, I didn't want to stay here. It was too hard. And I'm a very career oriented person, but staying here was such a pain and torture that I was like, what is a PhD worth if you are dead? Like, What's a dead person going to do with those, you know, um, accolades or anything? So, I'm here just to tell you that things do change. Like, four years in, I'm very well settled here. Um, way more stable mentally than I was before. So, there's hope. There's hope for everybody that has been suffering or is suffering. My, my personal tips include that you need to first realize that your biggest support is you. Yes, it's good to have people to fall back on. It's good to have people that support you, but it's hard. It's hard to be with a person who's depressed. I remember at that time, um, the person I was dating, I would have like mental breakdowns in the middle of the day and I would call them and, and be like, I don't want to live. I need somebody right here with me right now. Like it, it's hard. It's getting really hard. And sometimes they would come, but sometimes they just couldn't, you know, they have a job. Um, so and you know depression and anxiety will manifest in a lot of different ways like you become really insecure at times you become really needy at times and not everybody is equipped to handle that with you so your biggest resource and at the end of the day is yourself remind yourself that a lot of factors have went in for you to be here today if you're looking at this those nine months in your mother's womb even if your parents never cared for you even if nothing else happened there was God looking over. You are alive because things have come together for you. So let's just be thankful a bit. Let's try to be thankful a bit and not take hasty decisions like, oh, my life is not worth it, so let's just end it. It definitely is. Even if you're not contributing anything to the world, your presence, it was just timed. It was supposed to be here. Um, secondly, yeah, having a good support system is a key it's like being super rich you know if you have a great support system um, and if you are the support system make sure that you don't trivialize their issues don't tell them hey go and get a hobby I mean if they could get a hobby they would get a hobby right like who does who wants to suffer um, you don't see a person limping with a broken leg and you're like well just keep running you'll just get over it or just why don't you hop instead you'll get over it you don't get over it you are suffering the person is suffering mentally it's, it's really important to understand that any physical manifestation, right, like any pain or whatever, it's coming because your mind is sensing that pain. It is making you feel like you're in pain. So now imagine that your mind has hijacked everything else and it's just making you feel in pain continuously. That pain isn't faker or, you know, any shallower than a real physical pain. Um, so remember that thing. Remember that the suffering is real. It's not a drama. It's not people being overly sensitive or anything. Moving on, um, like on my Quora or Instagram, you won't really find a lot of negative comments. I'm not talking about criticism, but attacking comments. So this is a very conscious decision that I made that I block anybody who I find attacking, who I find um, negative for my mental health. Um, even with well-intentioned people, um, I have a lot of people reach out to me and they tell me their stories, they tell me how things are going really bad in their life. I'm very selective about 
who I interact with because being an empath, I get involved. I feel the pain that the person is talking about and it can be overwhelming. You already have your own life issues and then you are feeling deeply for somebody else's issues as well. I have a breaking point. So be conscious about what your breaking point is. Know that it's not selfish to say no to people. You need to prioritize yourself. You are your biggest responsibility. If you are happy and sane, you can contribute way more to the world than, you know, if you're broken down yourself. So don't go too harsh on yourself and learn to set boundaries with people. Lastly, if none of these internal things are working for you, don't be afraid to ask for medical help. I know people who have been functioning at the highest levels in their careers for decades with medicines. You know, medical science has provided solutions. You know, make use of them. Um, take therapy, take counseling. They really help people a lot. And at the end, know that you are not alone. There are a lot of people who suffer from mental health issues. It's not unique. It's not something new that you came up with or it's not something to be stigmatized by. Like, imagine, okay, if somebody tells you that they have PCOS or, um, I don't know, some kind of um, other disease, do you feel, um, do you feel stigmatized saying that, that you have that, right? Um, you probably don't. So why feel stigmatized about your mental health issues? It is just a disease at the end of the day. So own it, um, ask for help, and never feel alone because you're not. There are a lot of people in this. There are resources. And I all I can say is that um, at the end of it, it does get better. It doesn't really go away completely, um, at least not for me, but... It's like, it's like having a bad knee, you know? Um, it flares up at times, but most of the other times you're fine. Um, you manage well. So it does get better.